Welcome to session one. We will be covering direct-to-consumer genetic testing in primary care. Learning objectives for this session are, one, compare and contrast direct-to-consumer genetic testing, clinic-based genetic testing, and provider-mediated genetic testing. Two, explain the benefits and limitations of direct-to-consumer genetic testing. And three, identifying the main types of genetic testing methods used by direct-to-consumer genetic testing. Now, let's look at the scenario. During his primary care clinic visit, a 29-year-old man indicates that he wants to learn more about his ancestry and to figure out if he is at risk for any genetic diseases. A review of his personal and family health history reveals that he has no family history of any genetic conditions. Given the context of the patient's interests and health history, which of the following genetic testing modalities is most likely to address the patient's curiosity? You may stop the video at this time and try to figure out the answer. Let's learn more about the different genetic tests available. Direct-to-consumer genetic testing is targeted directly to the consumer. The purpose is to provide information about a consumer's genetic information. DTCGT typically does not involve a healthcare professional or use health insurance to cover the cost of testing. On the contrary, Clinic-based genetic testing is ordered, interpreted, and disclosed to the patient by a healthcare professional. Standard of care approaches involve a pretest consultation to identify potential genetic risk factors, identification and selection of the most appropriate test, along with discussion and interpretation of the results. Somewhere in the middle, we find provider-mediated genetic testing, which engages a healthcare professional in a non-traditional role of the genetic testing process. The healthcare professional's involvement is typically through an online platform and may be limited to placing the test order or approval of the order for genetic testing with minimal interaction or discussion with the patient. Here we have a detailed comparison between the different types of genetic tests. At this point, you may opt to pause the video to further analyze the differences between each genetic testing modality. Benefits of direct-to-consumer genetic testing include providing information about potential risk for some genetic conditions or for being a carrier for certain genetic diseases. DTCGT often provides results for specific variants more quickly and can be less expensive than some clinical genetic tests ordered through a healthcare professional. Testing is non-invasive. Usually, a saliva sample is sufficient. Results are not required to be shared with insurance companies because it is performed outside of a clinic environment. DTCGT companies often offer consumers the opportunity to opt into research studies. Here are some of the limitations of direct-to-consumer genetic testing. DTCGT does not test for all pathogenic or disease-causing variants for a particular condition. The test assesses a predetermined set of pathogenic or likely pathogenic variants, not the full range of genetic variation. This is done through SNP arrays. Therefore, the result cannot be used to rule out a condition. Even if DTCGT shows an actionable result, it needs to be confirmed with a clinical genetic test, thus adding an additional step that comes with an additional cost in terms of time and money. DTCGT is often done without traditional genetic counseling, risk assessment, or informed consent to confirm that the consumer fully understands the implications of the possible results. Some DTCGT companies may test for conditions or traits that do not have confirmed clinical utility or have no confirmed gene to phenotype correlation. An example is genetic testing done to see what vitamins a person should take. Let's take a look at the scenario presented at the beginning of the session. As we now know, the correct answer to this scenario is direct-to-consumer genetic testing. Direct-to-consumer genetic tests are purchased directly by the consumer or patient without any active involvement of a healthcare professional. DTCGT is of low cost and it is not very comprehensive. However, in most cases, it will satisfy the patient's needs. Many of the DTCGT used today in 2021 Look at a small slice of a person's genomic information in order to make estimates about certain health traits, risks, or accessory. 
The results will give a small insight into the patient's genetic information, but cannot fully replace in-depth counseling with a healthcare provider. DTCGT would be most appropriate in this case because the other types of genetic testing are targeted to a specific condition, and he does not have one and does not seem to be a risk for one. Also, clinic-based genetic testing and provider-mediated genetic testing do not provide information about ancestry. Furthermore, DTCGT can be considered recreational genetic testing and allows patients to engage with his results personally, which might be of interest to him. Clinic-based genetic testing takes into account the patient's personal and family history. This type of genetic testing may be billed through insurance, but only when the doctor recommends it. The genetic test ordered is beneficial because it comprehensively evaluates the DNA that might be responsible for that condition, and the results are confirmed within the CAP and CLIA genetic testing laboratory. The results are interpreted within the context of the patient's personal and family health history, along with considerations of published literature and medical guidelines regarding the condition. Lastly, we have the provider-mediated genetic testing which engages a healthcare professional in a non-traditional role as part of the testing process. The professional's involvement may be limited to placing the test order or approval of the order for genetic testing, with minimal interaction or discussion of the test with a consumer. This may or may not include formal genetic counseling. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you learned something new.